Hey everyone, welcome back to Dwarf Town here in City Skylines 2. Last time we... I don't even remember what we did, but I think we built this and we definitely focused a bit on... Oh, hello. We definitely focused a bit on building our uh, high school district over here, which we are going to continue on today as well. Uh, and I think we are going to be spending some time to beautify the place a little bit. Try to make it a little bit more interesting. I got the idea yesterday and I built this off camera. I built a whole bunch of, as you can see, I don't know if you can, it's, it's kind of... The colors are a bit washed, but a lot of different... Uh, all the f uh, all the four uh, different zonings that we have access to in residential, in all sorts of different uh, si uh, shapes and sizes, to pretty much check them all out. For me as well, I haven't uh, I haven't actually seen all these, so it could be very nice. I gave a couple of examples for each. I'm sure there are more than these, and I'm sure some of these are not going to build anything because they are simply not in the game. And uh, the top one here is European. At the bottom is North American. So we'll uh, we'll see what uh, we'll just let this pretty much do its thing and build. It's already going quite nicely, and we'll uh, check back towards the end here to see how that is. I did uh, watch a video yesterday from someone on YouTube. Uh, I believe he is called Two Dollars Twenty. He is an amazing City Skylines builder. He he builds a lot, and he's very very good at it. Very, very good at building interesting as well. And I got some tips and tricks off of him and we're gonna be utilizing some today. <coughs> I did it in my own town as well and I uh, I really liked it. I really liked it. I think, first off, let's, uh, let's continue this area down here. Let's see what we can do. What do we need? We don't actually need that much of this down here anymore. But what we can do, I think, one of the things that I'm, I'm definitely going to be doing is I'm going to be utilizing... I'm going to be doing like, like something like this a lot more. Actually, this is a this is, this is an advanced spot. Um, I'm, I want small local stores scattered around the place where, you know, like it makes sense. Because, you know, there's uh, often... often uh, at least here in Denmark, it's often enough that, that there'll be a store in, 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 in the middle. Maybe even a few in the middle of, uh, of an area like this, right? Because there's business to be made. So that's uh, what we are going to be doing as well. And I did think that I do want a pathway all the way along the back here. And I think we'll... Can you get up there? No, you can't. Okay, then that's fine. Then we will do it differently. Will you fit there? Yes, you will. Honestly, we can do it over here as well. Something like that for some symmetry. Yep. Uh, something like that. I think that is good. That's next to the crossings as well. So people living here, they can easily get to the high school if they need to. I think we do want to have some paths going down here as well. So we'll have to... Could you... Maybe not... Snap to, to, to that. Let's uh, see if this helps. Yes, we could have it here in the in in the middle here and only destroy the one house because but this gives us options to to put in some some bushes and 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 some trees there, which I really like. This that is that is something that I really really enjoy and something that I'm very bad at remembering. But it just it gives so much to your city when you add in little little things like that. Let's actually do a crossing there. Let's do a crossing there. We... Huh? What happened there? Oh, no.
What happened there? Why did you screw up? Oh, and by the way, I did fix this thing over here. It it didn't take long at all. I don't remember what I did, but I think I just I literally just rebuilt the uh, the road. Okay. Can we do this without screwing everything else up? Good, 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 good. That was about to be a disaster. Oh, wrong button. All's good, yes, all is good. And I think we might also... Actually, we might do something like this. Yeah. We might have some roads going out there. Why are you uneven? Whatever. I don't think that's something we can do anything about. Um, and we might have some sort of park area here in the middle. Maybe with a few... Um, what's it called? Let's do a few small parking lots over here. For the people that, that, that lives here. Lower that. Okay, where are we lengthwise here? Oops. New. At why is it weird? Why is it weird? Second Moon Radio with your 112. Host, J. Thomas Hornbuckle. 112. Tomorrow for a second chance to hear the okay, I don't know why that was uh, a such a big problem. There we go. In the area. That's right, Glenda. Actually, maybe what we do instead we is run you this guest, way. Professor Nutbutter. Welcome, Professor. So a housing shortage is bad for the people trying okay, to move let's... here, Okay, right? let's... Well, this is, is, is the kind of stuff that we, we would probably speed up, but let's um, just see how it is, because maybe this will be super boring, and then you'll let me know, or maybe it's uh, it'll be completely okay, because we all enjoy stuff like this. Let's see if we can beautify this a little bit. By building some bushes. Okay, I need to stop these guys from talking because they are very annoying. There you go. Get some music out here again. Okay, we are not going to be doing this like super perfect because already, you know, you can see there's not the same amount of space between these. You cannot drag these, unfortunately. Believe you could not do that in City Skylines 1 either. You needed a mod for it. I could be wrong about that one, but I believe it was mod required. Okay, let's at least try to sort of line it up over there. Like, like. We don't have to be perfect here, but at least try and line it up so it looks kind of the same. That's it, and it doesn't take much. It just looks so much better already. Um, let's see. How many do we want? I think we don't want to like have it all over the place, I believe, but probably pretty close.
Okay. Already that's looking like, looking much, much better. I am going to do this all the way down here. And uh, I will see you when it's done. Okay, and here we are. Done and done. It looks already much better. And obviously, you know, you can uh, pretty much decorate it however you want. I also thought it might be nice. Maybe with the, the ones here in the middle, we could have changed them for something else. Just uh, to get a bit of, uh, of a mix in here, right? But... For now, it's uh, it's 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 good enough. We'll uh, we'll just leave it how it is. I did want to build a few parks here though, because we have a nice and big area here that I thought we can beautify real quick with some pathways. Let's try and make them. I don't want to say random, but maybe a little bit random. Something like that is okay, I guess. And let's see if we can fit some parks in here with all this. Let's see what we have. We don't have access to much, but we could get access to more. We get the park maintenance. Did we get access to anything new there, actually? Well, the park maintenance depot. Okay. Now we are earning money. Yeah, very, very little, but we are earning. Let us... Sure, let's get the sports parks for now, and let's save the rest of the points. We are about to hit the next milestone soon enough, which is Tiny Town. First of all, though, let's get... Let's see what we get, actually. We got a tennis court, we got an outdoor gym, a skate park, and a basketball court. I have a feeling a few of these might be slightly too... Oh, no, no. They're not slightly too big. Excellent. Okay. I would like you to snap to that one. Yes. Right there. Oh, tiny town. <laughs> Very nice. Let's see what we got. I think we got a lot here. We got some mixed housing. I really personally like the idea of this. Uh, shops at the bottom and then apartments uh, above. We got vegetable farming, coal mining. We got communications, which is basically internet and maybe some cell phone services. We got mailbox, post office, radio masts. We got a bunch of policies, which we haven't actually really looked into at all, which hopefully we will soon. Okay, we got a basketball court. Very nice. And then I'm thinking for the dog lovers, we will have a, where is it, dog park over here as well. Can we actually fit in something? Could fit the dog park over here instead of these. We also have a small playground. Yeah. Actually, I think I like the idea of having the playground next to the dog park. Can take it take the entire family with you uh, that's not it we also haven't fiddled with public transportation at all and then we need something over here plaza maybe way too big but something like that yeah and then for some sort of beautification we don't have to put these down like Individually, we can place something like we can do something like this. We can even see where they're gonna place it before we click. Something like that. It's, uh, <clears throat> I believe, reason stuff is actually gonna grow with time. But I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Okay. So we have a need for low density housing. Oh, crap. What's going on here? Why is there so much traffic? 
It's because they have no other way to get uh, to get here. That's why. Okay. Let us, in that case, let us. Oh, wrong button. Let's just go ahead and get some roundabouts. Got a bigger one here. I don't know what this means, but I'm gonna assume more people can uh, can fit there. And let's build one over here as well. It's gonna cost us a few uh, few stores, but that's okay. They'll rebuild. And hopefully, this will start flowing a little bit quicker. We'll give it some time. This is also a two-lane road. We could make this a three-lane asymmetric road. Why can I not do that? What are you overlapping? It's because you're gonna be a bigger roundabout suddenly. Okay. That is a problem because we have the police station here and we can't simply just move this. Okay, well. Let's give it some time. Let's give it. Oh, hello. Been an accident there. We have a fire station, right? this one yes yeah, you should be able to get here pretty easily why are you not going that's uh, not because that's a medical we don't have one we do have one uh, they might have been stuck in traffic then yeah because they were affected by this they might have been stuck in traffic uh, yeah that's fine Three out of four. Honestly, then let's... Uh, we are in a bit of a crisis. Let's get the upgrade then. I don't think we really need it, but... Medium parking lot. It was burnt down. Uh, this building has been destroyed by a fire. Disaster response units available. Okay, I'm... Hoping something will happen when they get here. But of course, this doesn't help either. And that is actually something that is a bit of an issue, I feel. Because when this happens, obviously the police and the fire trucks are supposed to get here. But if the traffic is jammed up, they're, they're, they're just going to wait with everyone else. I mean, in in, 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 in in the real world, they would, of course, try and go around everyone, drive over a field if they need to, but not so much here, unfortunately, which is a bit weird. Are you actually fixing this, or are you just kind of driving around? Well... Let's uh, leave them to it. They, I'm sure they uh, they got it under control. We <clears throat> wanted some extra housing. That was kind of why we were here, but I guess we actually have some room up here that's still not being used, so let's do that. Something like that is okay. That should satisfy some of the need for now. So, can I not do anything about this? Ah, okay, here we go. Rebuilt. Yes. The cars are magically still there. Okay, at least finally they are getting around and they can actually put out these fires. That was a bit of a blunder. This is still kind of a traffic nightmare. There's nothing coming from here anymore. So it's kind of helping. 
But there's still a lot of... What are you doing, people? I thought the uh, I thought the developers uh, boasted of uh, great AI in this uh, in this one. Okay, this one is kind of clearing up as well, and when it's cleared up, then hopefully this one will clear up, and then everything hopefully will flow a little bit better we definitely need some some parking over here that's for sure this is kind of full this is full apparently this is definitely full yep there's a lot of cars parked on the streets here not that it matters i don't think so at least traffic wise yeah now these guys can start to get out of there as well Yeah. Still want more low density housing. Oh, that's a lot of the similar houses. Okay. Uh, could we build some of that over here, maybe? I guess we kind of could. We could maybe have something like this. Let us just real quick. That's not the tool, it's this one. I mean, obviously, if, if, if we were doing like a real city, a real playthrough at some point, we wouldn't just be flattening everything. We would be trying to utilize the terrain somewhat and, and making some interesting things. But for now, we'll just be keeping it kind of simple. Why not? And then we can have some row housing here. Did I go all the way over here? No. Maybe we want something there. Yeah. Actually, maybe what we want here could be a couple of stores. No, not over there. That's uh, that'll be fine. Doesn't have to be one hundred percent identical here. A couple of stores here locally, I think, will be do just fine. Right next to parking lots as well. Okay, we are not earning money, but we are not hemorrhaging either. So that's that's good. We definitely need more industry somewhere. So in in you know in an ideal world we would kind of be planning where we want everything. So we didn't just have did not randomly and haphazardly build whatever the hell we wanted, whenever we needed it, wherever we wanted. But honestly, for now. We are just gonna go and go ahead and build it the way we want it. Uh, can we just real quick smoothify a little bit here? This is very okay. Very tall right here. You know what? I guess that's okay. That's a that's a little 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 unique thing. Why not? And let us fill out you. I don't need to pause. Let's fill out you. Oh, why are you? You are okay to stay. Something like that is fine. We could do a small business over there as well. I think we. Uh, I don't think we need to care too much about the the, the groundwater over here. We are not going to be utilizing it, so let's pollute away. There'll be other places with groundwater. Clearly, plenty. 
Oh, we do have a little uh, whatever farming machine that is. I oh, know that's a tractor, but don't know what that's called. Expect especially in uh, I barely know what it's called in in Danish. Okay. Well, let us actually, since this is, we're kind of spread out and this is kind of grown in, let us, let's try some public transportation. I haven't fiddled with this at all myself. We have a taxi depot as well. Garage and repair shop for taxis. Also houses a small dispatch office. Can be upgraded with an extra garage, a dispatch center and electric taxis. Okay. Taxi stands. Okay, sure. Okay, I actually haven't done this one. Okay, taxis are good transportation option for places that have no other public transportation nearby. To get a taxi service going, all you need is a taxi depot. Okay, taxi depot is the center of operations for taxis. It houses a dispatch office, a fleet of taxis, and a repair crew. For good service, place the depot in a central lo location with room to expand. After building a taxi depot, dispatchers start sending out taxis to customers. Uh, what is going... Oh, okay. Those are taxis. Okay, I was about to say, what is going on now? Um, centralized. Yeah, we don't really have anywhere that's centralized. I guess we can plunk it here, right in the middle. Let's build a... Let's build a road out. Let's build a road out. Something like this, yeah. There. For faster and more efficient taxi service, taxi stands can be placed by the roadside around the city. Stands are a quicker way for customers to get a taxi than waiting for dispatch to send one from the depot. Place a taxi stand in a location you feel customers might need the most. Placing a stand will automatically create space on the side of the road for taxis to park there to wait for customers. When a stand is in place, the depot will send out taxis to the stand to wait for customers. Okay. Um, I guess, like, right next to the... Uh, to the cemetery here would make sense. We probably want a bus service over here anyway, so let's build it here on the side, honestly. Nice. That's one. Wow, this is still a nightmare. Oh, it's a big nightmare. Let's okay, let's leave it at that for now. The taxis will 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 do its thing. We need to we need to fix whatever is going on here. And we might be able to fix this with a roundabout. Uh, it's actually traffic going in here. Okay. Is it traffic that wants to leave? It's also traffic that wants to get home. Maybe, just maybe, it would be time to get another road. Uh, something... Something that would ban heavy traffic, I'm thinking. So heavy traffic will take this road, but people going to and from work can take another road. Yeah, it's uh, it's not pretty. It's a temporary solution because it's goes down. Yeah, okay. Let's try that and let's try and try and create a district. So the district works very much like the farms. You click a place and then you pretty much drag the lines like this. It's not a painted tool like it was in City Skylines 1. Yeah, some thing. No, we want to go something like this because we want to ban heavy traffic. And if we covered this 
the trucks would have nowhere to go. Okay, we have some uh, some policies here we can set. Uh, we might not even be able to ban heavy traffic yet. New. We need the next milestone. Okay, well, we can do energy consumption. I don't think it has a, a, a negative at all. It just lowers electricity cons consumption by 5%. So let's do that. We could do speed bumps as well. It reduces the speed of vehicles driving within the district. This lowers the chance of accidents and brings noise pollution down significantly. If we were kind of focused and had a, what you would say, a beautiful city, then I think that would make sense. But for now, this is a big area to cover. It's starting to get a little bit of a nightmare to build in this one, because if we had thought about things from the beginning, we would have had somewhat of an idea where to, to where our, like our main arteries would be, right? Um, I think what we can do though, can we upgrade this one? Not really. What if we do it like, we, we need to move this one. Okay, well, it needs to go for now. Let's uh, let's do it and let's upgrade. You can just be moved real quick for a short while like that. Let's upgrade this entire road out here to a medium one. Yeah, let's do that then. Okay, that's is gonna piss me off. Um can we move you? No. Okay, let's upgrade you back to that and let's have you move down here. Because you need to be the Lord. There you go. You need to be up there. Yeah, so the lanes, the amount of lanes in the roundabout 100% depends on what kind of lane roads are going in there. I would love to be able to determine that myself. But I guess for now it is what it is. Why not? Invalid shape. What is an invalid shape? It's worked everywhere else. Is that it? Overlapping items. What is here that's overlapping? What is this? Okay. Yeah, something like that is fine. We will get you back. Degrees, yes, something like that is fine. Get you back there, get you back there. You are a sacrifice, that's okay. Okay. Somewhere down the line, we might want to remove anything from the big road as well, but for now, we'll keep it as it is. And. Was it a large lot? I think it was. Don't think you're gonna fit here. Maybe if we do something like an alley. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Franklin Lane has been born. Let's let's go ahead. We don't have access to that yet. Let's go ahead and unlock that. Then the advanced road services. That gives us access to these things. So we can uh, put a sign. We can put signs up to say no left turn, no, don't go straight and no right turn. What is this actually called? No straight ahead. Yeah, okay. Stop signs. We can uh, turn on and off uh, traffic lights. 
Okay, the graphics are not the best at the moment. I don't know why that happens. But I know there is a lot of issues going on at the, at the moment with the game that they're trying to fix. You can see the reviews on Steam are not exactly in favor of the game at the moment, so it definitely has some, uh, some rough spots, and I know from what I can read that performance is, is a big the big thing at the moment. Um, okay. The police station is nice and snug in there and so is the medical center. That's not necessarily a good thing because it means that we cannot build any uh, any roundabouts down here. What we can do is we can go ahead and remove these. Keep that one there. We can do a roundabout there though if we wanted to. Not a large one, probably not, oh, not a not a very large, probably not even a large, no, we can do a medium, no, why not? Ah, uh, it's still because of that, so we can do a small one. Uh, let's do a small one then. Yeah, we might want to move both the police station and the medical station so we can we have more freedom here. Actually, let's let's try for fun just to say that here you are not allowed to do any left turns. I said you are not allowed to do any left turns. Where did it put the left turn sign? Okay, now they got it. I think they I think the rest of them understood. Yep. Let's do that. That means that a lot of them might go down here and do a complete round. That's okay. Um guys, it's illegal. I can't see the sign. Oh, sure, you can you can actually see the signs. There's also no row. There's also no markings on this road. Like if I do it, let's say just for fun, we do it here. You can see it even updates the the road markings already, and we can see the sign right there. So maybe this road is just too small to 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 show it. No, it does mark. No, it doesn't mark anything. Yes, it does. Look at that. There is this thing. So. It's there. The rule is there. They m just ignore it, I guess. Honestly, let's do the same thing down here. And let us also remove the intersection there because you know, we don't have one right there. That's okay. Okay, let's... Um, <clears throat> Let's try and and see if we can beautify the area a little bit because I wanted to do some some <laughs> to, to mix it up a little bit before we end the episode here and so far we've pretty much just been under damage control but look at that now that the traffic is flowing the traffic is flowing good I think I think the big road did a lot and I think the roundabouts helps but of course it took some time to uh, to, to, to settle. Uh, let us... Let us move this. Move it like something like over here. Something like that, yes. And let us build an alley. Here in the back, something like that. No, let's not do it like that because I believe there is something we can upgrade here that goes next to it yes so now there's room for this perfect yes excellent okay and we can delete this because then there can be two stores there instead let's build a random path 
think random paths are nice. Get a few bushes in there. Something like that. Excellent. Okay, we have you there, so let's not do anything with that one yet. They're gonna be very sad, but we need to, we don't need to, but I want to build a kind of special area here. <laughs> the need is going down, so apparently just deleting homes and then rebuilding shortly at least satisfies that need. Do that, and let us, first of all, we're gonna build a a little store here on the, on the corner. I think we'll have one here at the end as well. Can we do that there? Yes, we can. Excellent. And then we'll have some teeny tiny row housing here. And then we'll have this for the rest. Mm, that was not what I wanted to do. I forgot that it will, of course will write whatever was there. Do that again. And there we go. Now stuff like this, I feel like it doesn't really do much, but it adds uh, it, it it it's it's a very little effort is is what I was what I was meant what I meant to say, but it adds so much. Yeah, like that. Invalid shape. Uh, invalid shape, really. I would love not to have the crossing there. Can't I actually do that now with the road tools? Like that, excellent. Why? Why did that screw that up? Yes, please stay and uh, there might be something here with the terrain. Oh, there we go. I think when you build paths like this, deleting the housing is, is, is a good idea to do up front because it's doesn't then then it doesn't snap to a lot of things. That is a bad place for a random cabinet. I guess it's you know like a power thing, but an ele electricity thing. But yeah, not not a good spot. We can also go ahead and like that we don't have to do it all the way down but that's you know something I enjoy doing but for now we'll try and keep it kind of nice and simple let's continue you down here maybe actually ah there's the uh, the mansion of course well then we can run you through like that and I'm honestly thinking we might want some sort of park in here. A sports park, I think, would make sense. Yeah, let's get a skate park. How big are you? Uh, kind of big. Let's... Hmm. I'm not sure we have anything that can utilize single... Single tiles. So maybe we move it up a little bit more like this. And then we can build it like here. Okay, what's the issue with you? 
no issue. Good. Okay. Well, before we end the episode, let's... Uh, well, they are complaining about the pollution. That's fair enough. But it doesn't really matter because it is what it is. Uh, we have... Uh, I think some low rent housing up here. It hasn't gr it hasn't been built yet, but we don't they, we don't have a need for it, so that's probably why. Let's take a look at some of the housing. Where do we start here? I think yeah, we have no standard housing here either in the um, what's it called EU or NA that just has a single tile. They are all either they are all minimum doublet looks like. Yeah. Minimum two by two. We can check them out real quick. These are all European. These are three by two. Very nice. I like these. I like the the the, the threes. And then we have fours. This is two two by two, I guess. Yeah, that might not be. Yeah, I'm guessing they don't exist. So that's that's fine. I'm guessing these don't exist either. Four by three. Yeah, okay. Four by four exists though. Then we're into the row housing, which I'm guessing there is no need for. That's why it's not here. Otherwise, they do exist. And what are we into here then? That will be low rent housing? No, medium density. I still think medium density, the last ones. Yeah, four, four wide. And there's been no need for anything else. Fair enough. Let's see the North American just to see how different they are. Oh, they're very different. I like those as well. Yeah, we should uh, we should try and mix it up a little bit. Oh wow, they have a uh, like little house in the backyard. Here. Okay. Is that common in America? I have no idea. I like the houses though. They are... It seems like... I mean, maybe, I don't know. Maybe that just wasn't done too much work on the EU, but it seems like the American housing is, is a bit more detailed, a bit more varied. Maybe it's just me. We haven't built it yet, so maybe... Uh, Maybe we'll see the same things as with the with the European ones that we have. Uh, and what are we into now? This will be... It is still... Yeah, it is still actually low density. Still low density, just uh, four wide. And these are the... They're not called row housing in NA. They are called... I guess maybe they are. And we should uh, get some uh, some some mixed in there. And what are, what are we at here? We are at gotta be medium density. Yeah, they look kind of nah, not not too too much, but kind of similar, I guess. And last but not least, we have the low rent housing. I guess a lot of our need goes up here at the moment, so that's maybe why no one is moving in in whatever we're building down here. But I think for next time, I'm gonna replace all this with the commercial zones because there is both North American and European. For both the industrial and the office, it's all the same. There is no choice, so um, yeah, we'll be seeing that next time. And I don't know what the goal is for next time. I guess we'll just uh, we'll just be trying to maybe fix a few issues that 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 we have. The traffic is definitely a thing. Maybe we'll try to 
maybe we, we will try to set up a a bus system as well since we haven't uh, we still haven't fiddled with that and i ha i don't know how it works and maybe we want to build some sort of nice way here we could honestly delete the highway we don't really need it we could be dependent on this one uh, this is an entrance uh, entry anyway so that's 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 an option it it takes up so much space and you know as as i, I know other youtubers that play city skyline says that you know it's it's quite uncommon for a city like this to start with a highway so it makes sense that it, it, it actually wouldn't be here yeah these are being abandoned because i don't know why and that's usually how it goes for me at least uh, until we, 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 we grow bigger but yeah i think that's that's gonna be what we do next time we'll be deleting this i think try to fill out this area with something which if we delete this we suddenly have a lot of space which would be very very nice we could try and think about having the main artery here go down here as well maybe here and then this way or just have it being a, a big old go straight south maybe actually meet up with this road here something like that to have a nice uh, nice main artery going through the city but that's gonna be next time thank you so much for watching and until then take care